Hello there and welcome to Beauty Busters, pew, 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 where we test out internet beauty to see if it's a poop, a whoop, or a maybe baby, meaning it may work for some people and it may not work for other people. These videos go live every Friday and you can leave your requests down below. Today is a very special Beauty Busters and it's gonna be near to my heart because I love drugstore, anything drugstore. You know, I like to save a buck or two. On last week's Beauty Busters, you and me tested out the highest rated Sephora products. Now this week, a lot of you requested the highest rated drugstore products and I understand. Let me just say I love the drugstore. You know, you could save a buck or two. A lot of the products are just as good. However, you know I got trust issues. And you know that just sometimes reviews can be skewed. So we are here to put everything to the test to see if they really are as good as they say they are. So today we're putting to the test some of the drugstore's biggest brands such as CoverGirl, L'Oreal, Maybelline, e.l.f. We're also going to be testing some of the most acclaimed drugstore brushes such as e.l.f. and also Real Techniques to see if I could spare you a buck or two from going into the high-end stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you love drugstore products and if you have faith in them. I literally bought everything here today for just a hundred dollars. Now that might seem like a lot, but like everything that you need to create a beautiful makeup look with all these products, supposedly the best products on the market for drugstore. So we shall see. Personally going into Sephora, I know that you can spend a hundred dollars real quick with just like two or three products. And I literally bought a full face of the best rated drugstore product and we're gonna put them to the test. But wait, before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know I'm currently doing a giveaway. I'm giving away this and I'm giving away that. And all you gotta do is just be a subscriber and you will be automatically entered into this amazing giveaway. Wait for extra entries if you would like. You can check out the link in the description. All right, you ready? Let's get started. So we're starting off with a primer. So the very first product is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. This bad boy got 2,021 reviews and a lot of people gave it a 4.1. It retails for $5.99. It's not bad at all considering that a lot of primers retail anywhere from like $32, $42. And some of the comments say, a great product, bad container, a must have. I'm absolutely in love with this primer. It makes my foundation last eight hours. I have not tried that many e.l.f. products. I love of their brushes. Oh, so that is the primer. For a second, it smelled a little medical to me, a little too clean. All right, so in comparison to my everyday professional primer, this is definitely very, it's kind of like waxy. It feels just like a primer, but it also feels very moisturizing. It's strange. It's very nice. I like it. I like it. The smell is very light. If you know me, you know I smell everything. So it just has like a very minimal smell. You guys would be like, that smells like water. If water had a smell, I guess. So far, so good. Like a baby's booty, yeah. So for foundation, we're gonna be testing the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This foundation is quite new, and I'm surprised how many reviews it has. Almost 3,000 reviews. It's at a 4.2, and it's only $12.99. I mean, literally, if we're talking drugstore in comparison to like high-end, high-end foundations can go anywhere from like $35 to like $65 to like the more pricey ones. I'm in the color Soft Honey. Now, this is the crazy thing. I went to BeautyCon, and they literally gave me all of the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir foundations if it's as good as they say it is I'm gonna be giving away three of these to you guys as you just let me know what color is the best on your skin tone this is a lot for me you know what I'm saying I do like how many shades they have online not as many as in store so this foundation claims that it is vitamin infused it's lightweight but it can go full coverage baby people are saying in love the shade matches my skin exactly which to me personally is one of the hardest things thank God they have a lot of different shades you guys this product literally glass it on like a dream and blend it. It's so beautiful. To apply the foundation, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Stippling Brush. This only retails for three bucks. I've actually used this in the past, and I will already tell you this is awesome. This is a whoop. Four reviews, it has a 4.5 and over 280 reviews. If you just take a nice look at it, it's very nice. It's not quite dense, but you know what? This disperses product super nicely, and it's only three dollars, you guys. You can't go wrong with this. So I am in the color Soft Honey. Ooh, okay, okay. As you can see, it's not like really falling or dripping on me. It's nice and thick, like me. <laughs> oh, it smells good. So I'm just hoping this is my color. It's looking pretty promising. It feels refreshing. I don't know how much justice this brush is doing to it since it's just like stippling it on. I'm definitely gonna need something else to like blend it. I also have the Real Techniques brush right here. 
This one definitely blends a little bit more. The other one is definitely much more streaky. It's gorgeous. It's definitely drying out matte, in my opinion. Like, it has a little bit of luminance to it. So far, I'm quite impressed, and I'm liking it a lot. I also am noticing that it does not oxidize, which is amazing. Don't you just hate those foundations? Like, you think it's one color, and then you go outside, and you're an Oompa Loompa. Not cute, honey. Not cute. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more, because they do say you can build it up. So I want to see how buildable it is. It blends like a dream. I feel like a lot of people that shop drugstore are not just looking for more affordable brands, but they're also a little bit more low maintenance when it comes to makeup. At least that was the case for me. Like if I shop drugstore, I need to make sure that this makeup is quick. I feel like this is definitely a very beginner friendly foundation. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It looks super duper nice and it's easy to blend. Very pretty, very pretty. So the next product is the L'Oreal Putty Infallible Color Correcting. It has three different ones. It has like a tannish one, it has yellow, a green, and a blue, pretty much for everything. This one's to brighten up the eyeballs. And this one's to neutralize any redness. This one is to combat discolorations. And this one is to just disguise those dark circles. This has over 1,381 reviews. It's a 4.3, that's quite high. And it's only 11 bucks, you guys. People are saying it's an all-in-one beauty fix. Bye-bye redness. It comes with like a little sponge like this. It's quite nice. But I'm going to use the disguising the dark circle one. I got some dark circles. Typically, I mean, I would say with stuff like this that come with it, it's not usually the best, but I mean, it comes with it. So we gotta check it out. We have to try it. It's very waxy. You could definitely tell this is long wearing. Oh my God, is that me? The color is clearly very potent. That is brightening. Before I go a little crazier, I'm just gonna take my stippling brush, the same one that I used my foundation with, and I'm gonna try my best, best, blessed, bless me. I'm gonna try my best to blend this in. Ooh, it's very blendable. And it's very brightening. Ooh. You know what, in person, it looks better than on camera. One color like this might not be ideal for everyone. I'm super tan. This is a little bit light. Looking okay uh, in person. On camera, <laughs> no, honey. I'm sure once we add contour and stuff, it will really be great. So far, we have to give it credit that this little sponge is not bad, first of all. And second of all, it's super blendable. I'm gonna do this with my finger just to show you guys. You know what? It works better with the sponge. I'm just gonna put this in the dark areas. A little goes a long way, clearly. I feel like I look like I slept for a good while. Like that beauty sleep got to me. I would say this is a whoop, 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 whoop. And you know what's the best part? I am not creasing. That's the best part. So the next product is the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzing Powder. We got a lot of e.l.f. products up in here. This one only retails for $3.99. I just can't with these products. Like, it's amazing. It almost makes you be like, why do I spend so much money? So far, all the products are, have been bomb. I don't know about this product. There's something about contour and blush kits that I always just, I'm a little doubtful with the colors. This has over 1,255 reviews with a 4.1. People are saying great blush, dark bronzer. Ooh, that blush does not look the same. Am I tripping? It looks peachier in person and it looks pinker on there. Love it. It does have a shimmer to it. And since I'm a shimmer kind of girl, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. This thing is literally always sold out. Very, very dense. I definitely feel like this brush will disperse the product really nicely. We're going in with the Kabuki and the bronzer. So they say it's pretty pigmented. So let's just go like that. Do you see the contour? Do you not see it here? It's potent. So far, I like this brush. I feel like it disperses the product quite nicely. I feel like I'm not seeing it in person and then I'm looking over there on camera and I'm like, okay, wait, I see something. Let me just kind of like swatch this for you guys right here. Girl, it's like literally my skin color. It's a little ashy. This might be for like the lighter girls. Maybe not like the in-between tan and darker girls. I mean, it works, you know? Oh man, mm, I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm looking gray. Okay, first off, this brush, amazing, whoop. Completely whoop, whoop, I love it. It's like, it's just awesome, man. <sighs> Bronzer, I don't know. Mixed feelings about it. Not totally in love with it. Now we're gonna try out the blush. I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques Insta Pop Cheek Blush brush. <laughs> I don't see anything. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this so you guys could see it. It has a little sheen to it, but guys, it literally does not show up on my skin color. That's sad. So I just feel like I'm just applying like powders on right now at this point. There is a teeny, 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 teeny amount of glitter. No, it doesn't look good. 
I'm applying a lot of blush at this point and it's just not showing up. That's sad. I kind of knew I wouldn't like this product. There was something about it. So I ended up getting the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Blush. Now this thing, let me just say this thing. This thing retails for $4. It has 4.3. And over a thousand a hundred reviews, which in my opinion, I feel like that's a lot for blush. Let's create a flawless natural look with this cream to powder blush. That scares me. Packaging is cute. Something about cream to powder blushes always scare me because I feel like they never disperse the way I wanted to, and then you just look like a little clown. So it says, using your fingers, a brush, or a sponge, apply color gently by tapping it into the cheekbones and blending outward towards the hairline. People are saying, I'm in love. I love these blushes more than the high-end collection. These things are just blendable and natural and a tenth of the price. So the shade that I got was Rose Royalty. Ooh, that's creamy, girl. And then we'll kind of go like that. It kind of looks like a lip balm to me. So again, I'm not a big fan of applying things on with like my finger. It looks like a little kid playing all over my face. I'm just gonna be going in with this, the Insta Pop Chocolaca, whatever. I see color. This is really weird. So first of all, this is definitely more like a balm. I don't know what they're talking about in terms of this turning into powder. It kind of feels like a little Vaseline-y. I mean, if you see the way I'm applying it on, it kind of feels like, do you see like that end sheen? It kind of looks like Vaseline. The interesting thing about this blush is, yes, it is very matte, but there's a type of sheen to it. I feel like I'm glowing. Let's put this on the lips. Use this as a double thing. It's also not a lip product, it's quite drying. <laughs> you know, it has a nice sheen, it's pretty. I'm not crazy about it. Like, maybe I'm just not a blush girl, but like, I mean, what do you guys think? That bronzer though, I look hella mod. All right, so overall, like I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> I'm just not crazy about it. Maybe, maybe, like it may work for some people, it may not work for other people. For me personally, I'm just not a big fan of cream blushes. The next product are the brows. So this is the Brow Stylist Kabuki Blender a Stomper Kabuki by L'Oreal Paris. So this is what it looks like. I had never seen this in my life. It has over 3.8 stars, 1,665 ratings. It's very weird. It has like this interesting brush right here and then it's kind of like a eyeliner. Very interesting. Looks good. So this product, in my opinion, is on the pricier side. It retails for $12.99. Currently, it's at $8.89. It's not bad. Am I just being cheap? Claims to be soft and creamy. Kabuki blending brush, which is kind of a nice feature. I don't know. My brow is not this big, so I think I might struggle with this. Ooh, first comment, not favorable. My first impression is it's very hard to get a thin, precise line. This looks very large. This looks very large. Like, this definitely is for full brows. The perfect brows your way. I think this brow stylus is my new favorite product. The smooth tip helps to easily apply directly onto your brows to give them a natural, more full look. All right, so let's start. I think you have to go very light with it. If we take a look, I literally did my brows in maybe 10 seconds. They don't look like perfect brows, but they're kind of like your everyday brows, like I'm on the go, I'm here and there. So I'm not completely opposed to it. This brush though, oh my god, oh my god. You know, they're not perfect brows, but they're pretty decent everyday looking brows, I would say. Do I see myself gravitating towards this? No, it's kind of weird. But is it a bad product? It's not a bad product. I think there's a reason this is a 3.8. Not perfect, but it's also not bad. I would say this is a maybe baby. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, I think it looks really good. So now jumping into the fun stuff, I got this e.l.f. primer. This is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer Sheer. This is only $2.99, it has a 3.9. Almost a four. 228 reviews, not too much. Pretty much does the same thing an eye primer would do, just primes your lips, helps it last longer, helps with creasing, etc. First comment, doesn't hold. It's very old texture and it added no extra pigment to my product. Won't buy it again. The eyeshadows didn't stay on my lids. That sucks. How? Oh, okay, let's see. I don't like the applicator. Yeah, it gets the job done, but it's kind of like rough on the eyes. It sheared out the veins. They're not popping through. I'm happy. It's sheer enough to not like change the color base that you're about to apply, but it also covers up the veins, which is nice. My biggest thing with primers is that it feels like it's not gonna dry out my eyelid. I'm just gonna apply the shadows to see how they stay on with this primer. So I had never heard about this product. This is the Maybelline 24K Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. So this product is a 4.0. 
pretty good. Over 1,341 reviews. It has every color kind of range that you would probably want if you're like a beginner, but they're not my color. Like this yellow isn't really a gold. Like I feel like a beginner's kind of everyday neutral shade is more bronzies. In terms of reviews, first comment dissatisfied. I'm gonna be completely honest. I have a slight chance of hope for this palette, but after a test run, it was highly disappointing. Shadows are not pigmented, not blendable, very patchy, and just very bad in general. Next one, great value. Another person says great color choices. Another person says patchy and boring. I'm gonna swatch some of the colors. They don't feel buttery. I'm gonna swatch, 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 swatch. Ooh, that one. I'm not impressed. The gold is nice. A lot of golds are nice. That's the one color that brands usually get right. The dark ones are the color brands usually don't get right and the light ones. Does that make any sense at all? For this one, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and then the flawless concealer brush. For my wedding makeup, the lady was using this brush to blend out my crease and honey, I have never seen a better blended crease in my life. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this little brown. Definitely not the best shadow quality. With the gold, I tend to go towards, I've never had a dip so many times. It's a boring palette. I've been dipping this dark brown for a bit. As you guys could see, nada. I'm never bored doing my eyes and I'm hella bored. Final verdict on this palette. I would say it's a poop. For me, it's not pigmented. The color range is weird. I can't see myself having a nice color to blend this with. There's not enough mattes. The only matte is this one. Kind of chalky. In terms of how blendable they are, they're kind of blendable. Like they're not terrible, but they're just not very pigmented. Yeah. I will say purchase this. This is amazing. It doesn't cost you anything. I swear to you, this is what saved this whole look. It blends like a drink. This next product will shock you at how many reviews it has. I've never in my life heard about it. And I could only find it in this package. It retails for $7.29. It's the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner Pencil in black. It's like that. It's like 9,000 reviews and it's a four stars. And I've never heard about it. So it's a self-sharpening eyeliner, which means it goes up like that. Over here, it has like this little sponge. Looks kind of cheap, but might do the job. The first comment says, not a very good eyeliner. Personally, for my taste, it was way too smudgy and didn't even last on my eye. I absolutely hated that so-called built-in sharpener. I assumed that it would keep the end of the liner at a point, but it did nothing. Ooh, super creepy. Oh, honey, I went ham. Ooh, that eyeliner. You know what, I find it really hard to actually be precise. I feel like I just went overboard. I'm gonna do the other eye. Oh my god. Something about this is old school to me. It's not new school. I'm a new school girl. I feel like this is something that my mom would enjoy, but I don't enjoy applying my eyeliner with something like this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you see that? They're not sisters. They're not cousins. They're not twins. They're enemies right now. All right, I'm gonna try this thing out. Maybe like spread it out, try to fix it up. I don't know. There is hope here. This is bomb. I am loving it. This whole eye look is kind of coming together. I feel like with the lashes, it's going to be bomb. I love how creamy this is. I'm going to apply more because it looks that good. This blends like a dream. How do I explain this? I got carried away with this, as I always do with these types of pens. The way I did my eyeliner, it doesn't look good on my eye, but... Let's focus on the eyeliner. It's hella good. Very blendable, super nice, like it glides on. Personally, I don't know about like smudging. Maybe if you apply it down here. But if you want like a nice smoky eye, I think it works. But if you just want like a clean look, I would say pass on this item. I would say this is a maybe baby, maybe baby. This next product is the Maybelline Big Shot Volume Express The Colossal. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a very elegant bullet. This product might be the highest rated product of today. 4.5 with over 3,429 reviews. First one, flirty lashes. Big Shot gave me great volume and length. Love my colossal lashes. Okay, the wand. Do you see that little curve? What is that for? Look at that. It smells like mascara. I'm personally not a big fan of these types of wands. I prefer the plasticky ones, but this one feels like a nice brush. So there's one coat. I'm impressed. 
I'm not sure what is different about this mascara, but it feels good. I feel like the eyeshadows kind of like made the look go down and then this is making the look go up. It's saving this look right now. Before and after. This brush is bomb. I feel like it brushes them really nicely and it's still coating them every single time. And I literally look like I got falsies on without the trouble of falsies, which is amazing. I think the final verdict will be how they look on the lower lash line. <laughs> is bomb like amazing for sure i would say this is not your everyday mascara if you don't like this volume dramatic look but for me honey this is my everyday mascara it just kind of puts together an entire look that was going down the drain like this one this is a whoop but this is a whoop whoop go out and buy it it's amazing I have been waiting to try out this product since I saw it. So this is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearl. It is only $4. Very, very nice. It claims that it can be worn wet for a very vibrant effect or dry for a more sheer pigmentation. It's 3.6, which isn't like amazing. It has over 612 reviews. Ooh, but the reviews are not looking good. Moonlight Pearl was the right color, but has next to no pigmentation. Wet or dry, more like wet or bi. Terrible puns aside, immediately after I received it, I thought this product was absolutely awful. So you guys will see the first swatch. Let's see how it is. I'm seeing color. I mean, it's not blinding, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques Fan Brush. So let's see, I'm gonna pick up some product up in here. You guys will see firsthand. Oh, honey, no. <laughs> yeah, like there's a little glow up in there. It's not my type of glow. It's not good. I'm gonna take some on my nose, tip of the nose. Put some right here. It's not a blinding highlighter by no means. Have all high-end highlighters just spoiled me? I will agree, this is a hard highlighter. Pigmentation-wise, not the greatest. I would say this is a maybe baby. Do you want a really blinding highlighter? This isn't gonna give it to you, but hey, if you're okay with like an everyday kind of glow, yes, honey, why not? I'm gonna test this out wet really, really quickly. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, this is a frosty color, so it will definitely look better on people that aren't as tan as myself. I feel like everything is melting off. That was not a good idea. Pretend none of that happened. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. This bad boy retails for $9.49. It has a 4.4 and over 6,226 reviews, which is insane in the membrane. It says it's highly pigmented, it's very long lasting, and it's a nice saturated matte color. People are saying, I love this product. First of all, it was easy to apply. Love the applicator. Secondly, this product smells great. Thirdly, the product is fast drying. It went on smoothly and lasted through my 12 hour shift and even lasted through my sleep. Oh, girl you should take off your makeup all right here we go we are doing a very bold look today clearly oh my god that's hella pigmented a very nice applicator it has like a little hole in the middle it kind of feels like it gives it air and it won't like bubble or take too much product which is nice very nice and smooth really rich oh my god super easy to apply this brush is bomb color is beautiful there's some creaminess in there you know it looks this is like a perfect color for the holidays. I love. I say this is a whoop. This is a whoop, girl. Okay, we're gonna finish up the face with the e.l.f. Studio High Definition Powder and then the e.l.f. Mist and Set. This definition powder has a 4.3 star over 1,558 reviews, a lot of fives. People are saying great product, can't live without it. My biggest concern with this is how white it is. I'm afraid it's gonna look a little crazy on my skin color. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Okay. So right off the bat, it's kind of messy. It has a cute little dial right here, perfect to spread the product onto it. Or powder right here, that's cute. So I'm just gonna use a little e.l.f. blush thing right here. Ooh, just feeling it, it like dissolves. Grabbing a little bit and apply it right here. Do you see how it just kind of like dissolves? I think I need another brush for this. Ooh, okay, this is not good. This is not good. It gets in between the little cracks and then you're just like applying more than you need to. But it blends like a dream. I will say applicator wise, not amazing packaging. It's kind of messy, but it's finely milled and it applies very, very nicely. Like I would say this is a woo.
So the final product is the e.l.f. Studio Mist and Set Spray. This retails for $2.99, which is not bad. It has a 4.1 and over 1,111 reviews. So people are saying, I don't know what I would do without it. Don't recommend. I bought this a couple weeks ago. I have since used it about five times. I'm not a fan. It seemed to make my makeup come off even easier. The last thing you want from a setting spray is for your makeup to fall off after you've literally applied it on all day. So you know I gotta smell everything. It has pretty bubbles. It has a little smell. I don't quite know what it is yet. See how good the nozzle is? It's pretty good, it smells fresh. Here we go. Don't make my makeup fall off. It's kind of like hard to spray. All right, let's let it dry out for a bit. Right now I see it sticking onto my little hairs. Let's do the makeup fall off test. Not bad. Or the foundation is hella good or the powder is good. Honestly, I'm really impressed like with everything that I've tried on. Overall, this doesn't seem that bad. Did it make my makeup fall off? Feels good, it's refreshing, the nozzle's not that great, but then again, it's only $2.99, guys. Let me know down below in the comments if you have ever tried out any of these products and what you thought about each product. Is it a poop, is it a whoop, is it a maybe baby? Make sure you're subscribed because you will be automatically entered into these awesome giveaways. Let me know down below what you want me to do on the next video and stay connected to me on social media. Let me know what you wanna see next. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye!